All right, we're working on our Georgia author narratives, and I think we need to have a little lesson on dialogue and punctuating dialogue because you know this is this is not easy. And I have an example here that's a, a wonderful example. And as you can see right here, there is paragraphs that have been organized very neatly except I see all kinds of dialogue in those paragraphs so we're going to format the dialogue correctly and punctuate correctly and it's going to take a little practice and so that's where we're at right now okay so let's just go right here and start um, with this sentence right here uh, my brother got on my alright First thing I see, notice how I went to the next line. She does not have her tab set. And this is very important to set the tab because every time you enter, then it will automatically indent. All right? So I have set the tab just then and hopefully it will automatically indent. All right, so my brother got on my nerves. We'll correct this right here but I still love him. My brother and I had this game we love to play called Cowboys and Indians. That's like a plural. He would be the cowboy with a cowboy hat and boots. I would be the Indian with a bunch of old clothes I put together. Okay, that is a great descriptive sentence. Alright, now what we have here is the dialogue. Alright, now Notice how I went back to this line. Watch what happens here. Okay, I'm going to enter and it automatically indents. Okay, and that's what we need to work on here. That is the, um, this up here, if you notice this right here, this little arrow is where your margin is set. This means that's where your indent is going to be. If you see this is off, then that's what's happening. Okay, because um, when you format it with a space, 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 there is going to be a lot of problems. Okay, so we're going to start the dialogue. Come eat, my dad said. Okay, we have a little uh, typo there. Come eat, my dad said, chewing on a piece of pork chop. All right, that's a great sentence because not only does it have the dialogue, it also has the action of the character, and it and that and that really uh, gives you an idea of what's going on in the in the sentence. But let's go ahead and capitalize the sentence. Okay, everybody should know how to do that. And look what we have here. We need punctuation. So come eat is what the dad is saying. So it is correctly with. Uh, quotation marks around it but it needs a comma right here before the end quotation mark and here it has my dad said and and this does not capitalize so my dad said chewing on a piece of pork chop is the end of the statement of the sentence okay and we're going to start a new piece of dialogue here because someone else is talking I am talking so I'm going to go to the next line and look what happens it automatically indents right here because that's where it's set okay but it needs to be capitalized and the same thing here we have a comma I replied All right now I see this right here with a space um, between the word and the punctuation we're going to fix that now there does need to be a space after the punctuation, which she has here. Okay, and we'll, then we'll keep reading. My brother and I went to the kitchen uh, to sit and eat. As I was eating, my dad asked us a question. You all know Christmas is right around the corner, right? My dad asked. All right, there's a couple problems here. Number one, we need to go to the next line because someone else is talking. And number two, um, she has the dad asking a question and then my dad asked. So we're going to fix that. So I think what can happen here is we keep this as I was eating. My dad asked us a question. Okay. And my dad's fixing the talk here. So we're going to go to the next line because someone else is talking. And there is a space after the quotation mark. And we don't need that. We need to capitalize. And I don't mind this. Um, 
dialogue when it says y'all because it gives you a sense of the dialect. Y'all know Christmas is around the corner, right? And since we already know that dad asked us the question, we really don't need this my dad asked. Okay, and now we're going to click on the next line. And there it is. Alright, and now I'm going to fix the capitalization on this line. Okay, and so this is standard. You always have a comma after like an answer yes or no. Yes, I think she has. I can't wait. Comma, quotation mark. I replied. I mean, it's a period. Okay, here we go to the next line because someone else is talking. It's her brother, right? And then her brother's yelling, so she's got it all capitalized. But this is where it gets a little different here. Notice when it's just a statement, uh, like reply or said, it's like a statement. But here her brother is yelling, so she correctly has this exclamation point. Now, once again, we have the punctuation after the word, and then we have the quotation mark. Yes, my brother yelled. Okay. What do you want? See how that is the dad talking. And it looks like the brother's talking because it's on the same line. And that's why it's really important to go to the next line and capitalize. And here is the same thing. Here we have the punctuation and then the quotation mark. All right. What do you want? My dad asked. Okay. And the brother is talking. I want a BB gun. Okay. And she's missed her punctuation here. Or the uh, quotation mark. You see how she's got the quotation mark after the said here. And that's a, just a mistake, I think. Because she's done everything else correctly with the quotation mark. So I'm going to fix this. I want a BB gun, comma, quotation mark. My brother said, and then I'll get rid of that quotation mark. The dad's going to talk. We're going to go to the next line. We're going to get rid of that space. I'll see. All right. So I will have to work more. And the dad's still talking here. Um, so let's just work it like this, all right? So I'll see. I'll have to work more. Okay. So the dad's still talking, and I think what we can do is just continue this sentence here because um, she doesn't have a, a split dialogue where she's got. I will. What would be better here? I'll see. I will have to work more. My dad said, scratching his head, and then he's going to talk again. What do you want, Alice? Because we know that the dad's still talking, but let's just keep it here. What do you want, Alice? And we're going to fix this. You see what I'm doing? After the punctuation, my dad asked, and we need a period here. And then Alice is going to talk. Go to the next line. Give it the space. I don't know. Surprise me. Comma. Punctuation, I said, all right, we don't have a space after, and he's going to talk. Okay, now we need to capitalize. Okay, and this is like a period because it's like the, this is his sentence here. If I get you something you don't like, it's going to be your fault. All right, and... We're going to put a comma and then the quotation mark. My dad said, and then there's our punctuation. And notice we're going to the next line. I chuckled, and this is great how she has um, indicating who's talking before the dialogue. That's a very effective technique. 
and oops, sorry about that we have the quotation mark it's capitalized and there's our punctuation all right so you see how that paragraph turned into this so we're not worried about how many paragraphs do I need to write we're worried about organizing the dialogue into the, the correct organization and there you have dialogue and punctuating correctly I hope this has been helpful there are many other areas here I would like to see this being done correctly alright I hope you enjoyed this presentation